Hey you guys. I'm a little out of breath. When the reason being uh, that uh, this morning I, you know, took advantage of another opportunity to come out here and and just walk through my little forested trail behind my house. Um, and the thing that uh, the little quick message that God gave me as I was walking and then I decided I wanted to run after a brief bit of walking um, I really felt like uh, God was telling me to slow down and and like um, I just kept I just kept running because I I know that I, I don't do enough physical exercise and I want to work out more which is true and physical exercise is definitely good for you I mean, if you're not physically fit um, your, your body's not gonna, you know, do as much. You're not gonna get as much done. And most of what I, I want to get done, I feel really is uh, to honor God. Um, but I felt like God was telling me to slow down, not because it's wrong to run and, and work out, but because I think he was trying to impress upon me the priorities that I have. And it seems as I look at just how I spend my time, how I spend my day, that the majority of my time is priorities-wise spent on activities for my flesh. Activities that are building the, the temporal, the, the, you know, earthly uh, type of uh, future and an earthly life. And how much of my time, my priority, am I truly building into and pouring into the eternal and the spiritual? And I definitely, you know, have quiet time with the Lord and, um, um, you know, spend time in His Word. But when I look at how I, you know, devote a lot of my energy to my task list, um, I've already been convicted on having too much of my identity in the amount of things that I could get done. But I still look at that even as I, um, you know, consciously attach my identity to Christ, I find that in the here and now, I tend to really get pulled back to the task list and pulled back to taking care of life on earth. Um, and, and I'm not implying that I need to neglect the present for the eternal. But the eternal begins now, and uh, if I'm not pouring into it significantly, and by that I mean looking at the percentages and making sure that I'm pouring more of my time into the eternal than I am into the, the here and now, um, that's at least where God's got me with this now. Um, and I think, honestly, it's coming as a result of realizing my misplaced uh, identity and in finding it um, again, resting solely in Him, that I'm, I'm really now open to seeing where in my life that that stated identity is not matching up with the realistic identity. Like if you say you're one thing, but then you look at your life and you look at what you do, you look at your action and your time and your money, that is really going to show you more about you than what you say you are. So uh, I guess all that's to say, I know who you say you are. Now show me and show the world who you really are. Be blessed and be a blessing.